Uh, Dan, we're at the end of another week of training. Um, exciting challenge with Cardiff coming to the Athletic Ground on Saturday. Are you looking forward to it? Yeah, really looking forward to it. Um, it'd be nice to test ourselves against a regional outfit. Uh, we had a good performance last week against Roslyn Park, and it's just something to build on. We've had, I think, it's a, a nine, ten week pre season, and it's nice for the boys to sort of start to put their stamp on the game and sort of own the sort of the shape and the detail that we're putting across. Sure, uh, had a great, uh, great weekend against Roslyn Park. Great victory. Um, any major work ons for you as a coach? Um, there's always bits to work on, which in, you know, in a way was kind of pleasing to be honest coming out of Rosslyn Park to put in such a good performance, um, but still have things to work on. Um, you know, I'd be disappointed if we came out of Rosslyn Park, our first hit out and have nothing to work on and sit there happy. Um, so it's good. It's good that we've got little bits to work on. Hopefully we can put them into practice this weekend against Cardiff. Yep, uh, I know you've been working uh, a lot with the forwards, obviously. Um, you must have been pleased with how they went on Saturday. Uh, yeah, very good. Um, you know, we're very attritional at the front of malls. Scrums were very good. Um, set piece held up really well. I think we played maybe 23 new faces the weekend and to have three different teams take the field. It was nice to see our process stand up, which is sure. the pleasing thing. Um, we said we'd always, you know, we'd always take the boys on their detail, um, on their process at the end of the day. So looking more the process rather than the outcome. And I felt that stood up well the weekend. Yep, um, with obviously Cardiff coming down, um, with some of the faces are reasonably familiar. We had them in the BNI Cup last year. Um, anything we're particularly looking out for? I know they obviously have a, have a lot of quality in their squad. Um, to be honest, they'll have quality throughout their team. Um, I don't know if they'll be bringing any of the international boys down this weekend, um, but the guys they got back in that up, they've shown that they're you know, of excellent quality. Cardiff have gone well in the sort of Principality Premiership, um, and they're always going to be a tough team to play against. You know, they're one of the top Welsh regions, um, so you know, you're going to be playing against some of the top, top boys in Wales in that, uh, in that game. Yep, um, the squad for this weekend has been trimmed. It was 37 last week, 26 this week. I guess that's just getting more of a kind of match day squad in order. Yeah, I think eventually we get down to 22. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just because people are sticking their hands up um, and performing so well. So it's hard to be able to go out and pick a 22 at the minute in our second pre-season game when there's so many boys performing really well and yeah, sticking their hands up for selection uh, throughout the training week. Yeah, that must have been one of the most pleasing things about the Roslyn Park game, the fact that the full-timers went so well, but also some of the part-timers and the trialists as well really stuck their hands up, as you said. Again, it was, you know, the, the transition between the games and the players was pretty seamless times yeah. uh, which was really pleasing to see um, you know a testament to the work that you know, Jake and David do in with everything and um, you know the forwards were very happy the way things are going so it's um, yeah it's going to be good you know, like I said we're, we're cutting the squad down a little bit this week there's still going to be that sort of transition I think we have pretty much a full pack on the bench so um, it's just making sure that a process holds up um, and then yeah the boys will be judged on their process rather than outcome yeah uh, you've been with us for a few weeks now obviously kind of juggling uh, a few months sorry juggling the uh, the playing and the coaching as well how are you finding it after the first uh, first little stint with Scottish. Uh, yeah, no, it's been really good, really good, really enjoying it. Um, again, I've always tried to sort of put my best foot forward when I've gone into sort of squads and things and try and sort of immerse myself in as much sort of learning and coaching as I can. Um, I'm at a point in my career now where I'm able to sort of give some of that back. So um, it's just really an extension of what I've been doing for the last sort of few years now. So I'm really enjoying it. Um, it's hard to get that balance right at times yep. you know, when you want to get in and get reps done, but you want to stand back and see what's happening. Um, but on the whole, thoroughly enjoying it and you know being very well supported by the likes of you know Matty Long, Mikey Burrows and Dave and Jake yep. so yeah very good really happy. Yeah um, the pre-season games I know it's uh, about kind of getting everyone a bit of game time and some of the results as well obviously obviously help how important of the last Rosslyn Park and also this weekend um, and we've got a blank weekend and then Yorkshire um, so we're just constantly building towards that championship opener. Yeah it's going to be massive that championship opener it's the, you know, it's the first opportunity we've got to sort of show the world the New London yep. Scottish you know we're looking at building not just a, a performance group but building a sort of a whole club sort of environment here and it'll be the first opportunity to show the world you know what we're building at Scottish um, you know, it's an exciting time very exciting the way things are going sort of amalgamating the part-time and the full-time and sort of the Highlanders together um, so really looking forward and really exciting times going forward to be honest yeah and just finally um, you talked about the new London Scottish it's the first game at the athletic ground this weekend big crowd in it'll be a, be a great atmosphere I'd imagine hopefully yeah you know we're pulling all the families down um, there's a big thing before the game with having uh, wives, girlfriends, children, um, you know, parents all coming down to the game. So it's a big sort of occasion for us all. So yeah, should be a good run. Really looking forward to first hit out on the athletic ground, you know, want to try and make it a, a big home for us. So yeah, looking forward to it. Good luck this weekend. Top man, thank you.